Hello, and welcome to Cooking with Kindle, the youth pastor. I'm gonna be making the internet sensation right now. This thing is blowing up, it's everywhere. Whipped coffee. Now whip it! First thing you're gonna want to get is instant coffee. All you coffee snobs, instant coffee, give me a break. I only get coffee beans from Ethiopia. Bold, rich flavor, floral tint. What are you, what are you talking about? No, this stuff is good, I promise. It's so, so good. A little bit of sugar, maybe a lot of sugar. Good stuff. Some hot water, that's all it takes, all right? And a little bit of hard work. And you're gonna want two tablespoons of instant coffee. Two tablespoons of sugar. One, two. A little extra, because why not? All you need left is two tablespoons of water. And you say, really? That's all? That's the exact measurements? Two tablespoons, two tablespoons, two tablespoons? Yes, that's right. Just remember, easy way to remember this, we're going two by two, just like the animals into the ark. I bet, we, I bet Noah wishes that he had some of this coffee. All you need to do from there is whip it. Just whip it around. It's only gonna take about 20 minutes minimum. I'm gonna give my arm a break. This brings us to, let's talk about it. Proverbs chapter 19 verse two, it says, enthusiasm without knowledge does no good. Haste makes mistakes. I'm reminded of this while I'm whipping this coffee. I can be enthusiastic about whipping this coffee together. I can be, yes, I'm gonna make the best coffee ever. And I can do it quickly, right? But if I didn't put the ingredients in, then I'm doing no good, right? And so the same thing goes with your life. You know what? Enthusiasm is good, but make sure that you have the right knowledge, okay? So you can be enthusiastic about, about doing good things, finding success, or whatever it is, but if you're doing it with haste, and you're doing it quickly, and you're, you end up cutting corners, man, it's no good. Instead, slow down, ask God for wisdom, and ask God to show you the right steps to take, and when you do that, then you do those things with enthusiasm, and it's gonna take you a long ways. So we're gonna continue to whip this thing. We're getting somewhere, we're getting close. I don't know what's gonna happen first, the end of quarantine or me finishing this coffee. This better be the best coffee in the world. Proverbs should have some wisdom literature about buying a KitchenAid mixer and not whipping your own coffee. All right, Woo. I think I've burned a lot of calories. I'm sweating. Fill your glasses up, maybe about three quarters of the way, with milk, because this coffee is strong. This stuff is good to the last drop. I like to finish mine off with a little bit of honey, a little bit of cinnamon. Mm. Some honey, provided courtesy of the bees. Not those murder hornets. A little bit of cinnamon. And there you go. Bone apple teeth. <laughs>